Hello everyone, Motoman is in the house. If you want to see more of us, you can find us on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Please feel free to like, subscribe and press our notification bell. Today we present you our new pride and joy, our mascot, a Yamaha R1M. Yamaha produced only 500 units of this bike, so this is a special one. Let's get started. At first, you can access the menu by pressing and holding the scroll button on the right hand side. Once you access this menu, you can scroll up and down with the selector button. Display mode will let you choose a different layout for the dash. When you select track mode, your lap times will be displayed. YRC setting is the menu you will be accessing the most. First of all, in the YRC setting, you can alter the electronic aids on the bike. These settings can be programmed on the tabs A, B, C and D for four different riders or your own four preferred settings. Power will let you choose between rain on four, street, track and slick mode on one. Power one is the most aggressive setting. In this setting, throttle will open quickly with a very fine twist ratio. This setting is known for being a little bit jerky, as even experienced riders will over accelerate and decelerate. With some practice, you can control this setting smoothly with a reasonable amount of time, however, it's very demanding for street riding. This setting has access to the full range of throttle. Power 2 setting is slightly smoother than Power 1. Very similar to power 1 with the same power curve, requiring slightly more throttle twist in the low end, so creating a smoother response. For the average rider this setting is somewhat jerky for street use. And this setting has access to the full range of throttle. Power 3 setting is more relaxing than the first two. Yamaha recommends this one for street use, allowing the rider to smoothly navigate traffic while still having access to all the power of the bike. This setting also has the full range of throttle. Power 4 is the only setting with limited power. Yamaha recommends this one in the rain. The next menu is TCS, Traction Control System. The TCS has 9 different settings. The higher the number, the more intervention is applied. This means that the rider can be able to dial in how much they want the bike to control the setting when riding in conditions with limited grip or in a racing condition. SCS or sliding control system. The SCS is one of the bike's most defining characteristics. It regulates power when a slide is detected. The SCS system works in conjunction with the TCS. If you turn the TCS off, you will also turn the SCS off. SCS has four level settings, off, one, two and three. Level one providing the least amount of intervention and level three providing the greatest amount of intervention. The LCS or launch control system helps the rider achieve a faster and smoother launch from a complete stop. It will limit the engine RPM while the throttle is held open. Under hard acceleration, the lift control system will prevent the rear wheel from slipping and the front wheel from lifting up the ground. The LCS has three settings, off, one and two. Like other settings, one provides less intervention and two more intervention. QSS or quick shift system allows the rider to upshift without using the clutch lever. QSS1 will cause faster shifts and this is preferable on a hard acceleration with no complete stops. QSS2 will cause smoother shifts, this is more used on street use. LIF or lift control system detects front wheel lift. It regulates engine power output to slow the lift while still allowing the rider to accelerate quickly. The LIF system has four settings, off, one, two and three. The higher the setting, the slower and lower the tire will lift. 
ERS is the electronic racing suspension menu. This one we will discuss in another video. In the lap time menu, you can scroll through your lap times on track. You can see your fastest lap and your average lap time. Logging. In this menu, you can sync your Android device to the bike. The maintenance menu tells you when the bike needs to be serviced. Unit. This menu lets you choose between the few consumption units. On this display, you can also choose to set the display on kilometer or miles. Wallpaper is used to select a brighter or darker display. In the shift indicator menu, you can set the shift indicator warning on a particular RPM. In the display mode, you can choose your typo display. The last two menus lets you choose the brightness of the screen and the clock setting. The very last button is the All Reset button. Two factory standards. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you don't want to miss out on our videos, press the notification bell.